Stars are made up of a number of different elements. The Sun is composed of about 73% hydrogen, 25% helium, 0.8% oxygen and 0.36% carbon, plus smaller amounts of other elements. Each of these elements absorbs certain wavelengths of light. White light is made up of the full spectrum of wavelengths. But the presence of elements such as hydrogen and helium results in black lines in the spectrum. These are the spectral lines for hydrogen and the black lines appear at the particular wavelengths that are absorbed by hydrogen. Here are the spectral lines for the Sun. By analysing these lines, scientists can tell what elements make up the Sun. And spectral lines can also be used to investigate what elements make up stars and distant galaxies. Scientists can also use spectral lines to work out whether a galaxy, like this, is moving towards the Earth or away from the Earth. Let's compare two sets of spectral lines for this galaxy as we expect them to appear. The positions of the spectral lines are based on the absorption lines for various elements as they have been measured in laboratories on Earth. If the galaxy was moving towards an observer on the Earth, the spectral lines would shift to the blue end of the spectrum. This is known as a blue shift. If the galaxy was moving away from an observer on the Earth, the spectral lines would shift to the red end of the spectrum. This is known as a red shift. The further the spectral lines are shifted, the faster the galaxy is moving away from the observer and the further away the galaxy is from the Earth. Astronomers such as Edwin Hubble measured the spectral lines of hundreds of galaxies in the visible universe and found that most galaxies display a redshift. This led to the conclusion that the galaxies were moving away from the Earth and that the universe must be expanding. <laughs>